Sports brought to you by Jim White Honda. Good evening, everyone. Tyler Segerman here with you live from Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse, where the 2024 MAC tournament continues. Bowling Green men in action right now. Their second half just started with Kent State. We'll have more on that game here in a minute. But first, let's show you how the Toledo women have fared earlier this morning as the Rockets look for a return to the MAC championship game. Top seeded Rockets, Trisha Cullip and group, look riding a 14 game win streak. And like I mentioned, looking to return to this year's MAC championship game. It wasn't a great Great start for UT, going nearly five minutes without a bucket, but Hannah Novoroski said enough is enough. A monster rejection on one end leads to Emmy Renat finding Sammy McConowitz on the other, and just like that, the Rockets are going. Toledo would fall down again, so with time winding down in the half, the Rossford alum again going to work, gets the roll there to aid in her team height 19 points, but they're still down. So second half we go, Trisha Kulip dials up the full court press and it pays off. Quenisha Lockett forces the steal. She then connects with a cutting Kira Goss who lays it in. They're not done though. Rockets continue to wreak havoc. McConowitz coming up with it. She passes off to Sophia Wired who pulls up from three. It doesn't go, but Lockett crashing the boards. She'll finish off the putback with the foul. A double-double for the fifth year and momentum turning in favor of Toledo. They would actually take the lead under two minutes to go. Koss going to extend it, but unfortunately the gritty comeback falls short. UT eliminated in overtime 77-74. You can imagine what it's like to lose, but then especially just the run that we've had with this group of girls, like knowing that with these two, it's the last time here for them. Um, it sucks. It's awful. Um, you don't want to be in this position, um, but we still got some basketball to play. I'm really proud of our kids. I don't want to take anything away from Buffalo. I thought they played exceptionally well today. Um, I'm just sad that some of our shots didn't fall that we normally hit. Not everything that you see on a stat sheet is the game. And if you judged heart and soul, I'd give my team an A+. They played their, their tails off trying to compete in this game.